What's up film fans, Epic Film Guys here, Justin and Nick. And we are here to do an episode two of The Real Rundown. Well, this would be through Batfleck counts as one, doesn't it? I thought it was all about Batfleck. And then still sort of counts, even though I don't think I put the logo in that episode. That's okay, it's okay. Episode two slash three, whatever. We're good to go. I consider this officially episode three. All right, and I know I, I wanted to jump right in. Uh, but it, it won't be like the episode three that you're thinking of, like Revenge of the Sith or... Revenge of the Sith is better than Return of the Jedi with those damn Ewoks. How oh, dare you! Freaking stupid teddy bears. At, at least the Ewoks weren't as wooden. They moved, they walked around, they weren't nearly as wooden as Hayden Christensen, but that's okay. Alright. They both kind of had that waddle pace, and now nah, we're getting off on a tangent here. Um, you, I didn't get to see it because he was on his anniversary vacation last week. I didn't get to see it with him, but you saw 22 Jump Street. Tell us about it. I went and saw 22 Jump Street in a very nice theater down in Wilmington, North Carolina. And um, I actually saw the, the first film. And mind you, I, I was not at all excited about seeing the first film because I love the original show starring Johnny Depp. It's a, it's a classic, cheesy 80s cop show. I loved it. So when I went into seeing the first one, um, I was very against it. And I was very pleasantly surprised that Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill did a fantastic job. They have a great chemistry together. Um, and the first one was great. Second one, even better. Um, the second one, they don't pull any punches. They make fun of themselves the whole time without becoming a parody. Um, they basically do the same storyline slightly altered but they're in college now they're not high school students but they're they're after a drug dealer um who caused a, a major murder uh and ice cube who uh hilarious again oh my god i cannot say that enough makes the entire movie um as their uh their their chief of the 22 uh jump street team um again they play schmidt played by Jonah Hill and Janko by Channing Tatum. I can't say enough how well their chemistry is together. Probably the best chemistry I've seen uh, out of either of them, aside from seeing Jonah Hill in Wolf of Wall Street with DiCaprio. Um, like I said, they, poke, was fantastic they poke fun at the each way. other in the movie. They poke fun at the movie itself, talking about the budget. You know, it's, it's I recommend it to everyone. Great laugh. I laughed so hard that I cried. I haven't done that in I don't know how long, so. So what would you say out of 10? Out of 10, I would give uh, 22 Jump Street, I'd give it a nine out of 10. Wow. It, for for sure. endorsement. I mean, and I would recommend highly staying till the end. The end credits, they do this hilarious thing where um, they do it like what, how many spinoffs they could do of the series of different themes and uh, different actors, and it's great. It's, it's certainly awesome, but. Um, Sorry, you didn't get to see it though. You didn't miss. You didn't make it to the theater this weekend. I haven't made it to the theater since we saw that early screening of Edge of Tomorrow. Uh, so it's been a couple weeks for me. I know you know how to train your dragon two is in release. It is yes. Twenty two Jump Street, a uh, million ways to die in the West, which bombed bad. And, uh, it did bomb. Sorry, Seth. Now Sorry. I really, I didn't really. I was, I was, I was probably up for seeing it. This one. No, it wasn't happening. I wanted over to see here. it just so I could bash it. You I liked to Ted. That film. I liked Ted, but guess what, Seth? You did okay at the Oscars, but you're not a leading man. I'm sorry, you can't lead a film. Uh, the, the film that it, it looked, it looked like it had a couple decent slapsticky moments in it, but it wasn't anything that I was really pining hard to see. And we had a big May. We had a really big. You month, paid so... Christopher Lloyd to bring the DeLorean, man, yeah. and that for a small cameo, whatever. Yeah. We got Charlize Theron on your arm to look really good, but. Sorry, dude. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I mean, it, it, it happens. But I didn't make it to the theater. I did check out a couple different things on Blu-ray. I told you I checked out Escape Plan. Uh, Schwarzenegger, Stallone, Schwarzenegger. Stallone. Really, really, I mean, of course, cheesy 80s action type script, but that's exactly what they wanted to go for. It was a really fun flick. It really, really was. What else um, did you check out? You checked out something else. I checked too, out right? half of Captain Phillips. Half of it. Hey, hey. You gotta get the red box back when you gotta get the red box back. Hey, we, hey, you know, whatever. I saw all of so it. I, been, I enjoyed it. it it's been good. a slow week. It's been a slow couple of weeks for me, and uh, you know, it's been a slow news. It's been what what news is there to talk about? Well, we, we just got uh, Jason Momoa. He got 
officially slash unofficially without official Warner Brothers confirmation, but it's official. He's playing Aquaman. Now, people, you know that Aquaman is the character that gets made fun of more than any <laughs> other DC or yeah. probably Marvel character that there is. I would but, say, I, I couldn't think of one that gets... And, and I have to straight up say this out of nowhere, you know, right off the top of the heels of him mentioning Escape Plan. It reminds me of Bullet to the Head, which came out last winter. Uh, where Momoa played a villain against Stallone. Now, I admit this here, I did not like Momoa as playing Conan the Barbarian in the reboot of that. I didn't like him at all. I admit that I have to get into Game of Thrones. But seeing him being Aquaman, I'm, I'm convinced. I think that he can really bring, uh, you know, a strong version of the character that'll make people, you know, shut the F up, basically, and give it some respect. And now, mind you, we both agree that at Batman uh, V. Superman, Dawn of Justice, um, it'll probably be a small cameo at best, maybe a small scene, ending scene, um, but I'm actually happy to see that he finally signed on for the part. What do you think? I think that they're putting these roles in the film to world build, which is something that I'm going to blog about later this week, and I don't... I like the casting. I don't dislike the casting. I'm not as familiar with his body of work as you are. I didn't see the Conan reboot because it didn't look all that no, intriguing to me. it was horrible. Didn't really look all that good to me, so bad. I didn't even bother checking it out. So, but, I mean, you know, I, I like the casting. I mean, he looks the part, at least. I have a lot of faith in Snyder. I am, of course, a huge fan of Man of Steel. So I really I have faith that, like, in whatever way they're going. Review that but we ever we I, I do have. because I it's down there the Blu-ray is right down there somewhere. But that said, I mean I I have faith in their vision. I mean it's clearly not a Man of Steel sequel anymore. Which reminds me, I have to bring this up not to cut you off. Go ahead. Think about like, one year ago today. We, we had were, just seen it. We just we, saw, did. we just seen Man we of did. Steel, and we were both. I don't think I stopped talking about it. The whole way home. I think I stopped talking about it only like a few months. My throat, ago. my throat hurt. At, like by the time I dropped, I won't go on forever about it. But it just made me realize it when I was on vacation that I'm sitting there and I'm like, "What was so big a deal to us? Like, wow, it was a year ago already, and we were like so excited for it. We saw it, we loved well, first it. First we of all, first away. things first. Last summer, we were already pissed. We were already down because we had both seen Iron Man three, and that film was a heap. I mean, we both really, really disliked a lot of things about that film. I think we still gave it overall, like, what, 6 out of 10, maybe even 5 out of 10 in that range somewhere. But both of us like a seven out both of, of us were, like, like, I hated a lot of that film. That film was but abysmal. It could have been a lot better. Off on a tangent we are, I think up to this year, though, aside from Man of Steel, which is probably in my top five comic book movies of all time, I think we've had a better year so far. I mean, we've got a lot of upcoming movies. Still, we've got Transformers, yep. Age of Extinction next week. Yep. We still have the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboot produced by Michael Bay. This summer, we've got the Hercules movie starring The Rock. Can I, 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 I got to jump in here because you did post it on the page today. The, the picture of Shredder, the high, de the high rise picture of Shredder staring down <laughs> Master Splinter with the giant Edward Scissor hands gauntlets on his hands, and and uh, he looks. I, I don't like I like the rest of the costume. I mean it kind of was like samurai meets techno. I don't necessarily hate the rest of the costume, but those gauntlets are god awful. Go we on, still have, we still have yet to see a full fledged actual theatrical trailer for the film. No. And it's crazy because the movie comes out in what less than two months now. Um, so they're definitely hiding it a lot. Um, I think that I think we're gonna get an advertising blitz probably after Transformers comes out. I would say probably through the month of July we're going to get slammed with turtles, 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 turtles. And I did forget to mention on the upcoming list, one of the most excited that I'm fo I am I have in mind is Donna the Planet of the Apes, the sequel to Cannot Wait Rise to See the That Film. Of the Apes. Cannot Looks wait great. to see that film. We're both on edge about that one. Um, we got a lot to go over, um, you know, in the next two months for you. We're going to hit every possible film that we can. Uh, but aside from that, we still have the news about Harrison Ford supposedly getting jammed in the hydraulic door. Um, the Millennium Falcon in the new Star Wars film directed by J.J. Abrams. And it's supposedly, we're told that it's going to actually, uh, he's not going to be shooting for over eight weeks and they're going to shoot yeah, around it's gonna it. it's going to sideline him for eight weeks and 
I don't really think I, Star Wars is too big a juggernaut to be stopped at this point production wise. They already moved the release date. It was supposed to come out summer of last year. They already bumped it back to Christmas. And I don't really think that the studio is going to want to put up another delay to delay it to 2016 in they the won't. summer. Because that's a crowded no summer already. That's already got Batman Superman. That's already got a Captain America sequel and who knows what else by that point. So I definitely don't think the studio is going to delay the film no, or anything. We were like talking that, earlier on uh, in our pre-review mode that Harrison Ford has a history of getting injured. We were. We were. Before movies. And mind you, we've got like, you know, how Indiana sick he Jones. was during Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yep. You know, and so it's almost like maybe this is like an, an omen that it's going to make the movie a good omen as long as the script doesn't focus too much on the original cast. Maybe I do want the original cast to be the main focus of the I know, movie. I know you do, but I, I okay don't. It's okay then. You know, what's that's, wrong? I'm sorry, but I, I don't. They had their send off. They had. I just want to see. Uh, I just want to see. You know, a 75 year old Mark Hamill swinging around his lightsaber. I will say, I did. There was a video that was posted. I forget what event Mark Hamill was at. Disney, some Disney event he was at. Yeah, with the or something Mickey Mouse like that. or whatever. He was at an event and he did this thing where he did um, the Joker versus. Yeah, and Luke he, Skywalker, he and he, so he did the voice awesome. of, of both of them, and it, it, it was hilarious. It was really great, but he's sporting this beard that apparently he's going to have as he lost a lot of weight uh, too. his character. They all did. But. He did. He, he looks like he's in great shape. I really, Hamill, I will say of things I'm excited about about the film, Hamill's probably up there by the top. Um, I'm really excited to see him come back. But I, this will be a point of contention to me up to and through the film's release, I don't want a script that focuses on the original cast. I want a script that has them in it. I want to see them, but I don't want a two and a half hour movie where just, an hour and forty five minutes of it is about them and oh here's some new cast members, but we'll get to them later. It's alright. We have a great cast. We already talked about that we before did. in a previous real rundown. I think episode number one, possibly. Uh, but I'm just more worried about Harrison Ford, and I don't want him to be like severely injured. You know, I want to see him. In yeah, movies. absolutely. We do wish him a speedy recovery. Supposedly, there's a rumor about the Prometheus sequel being an alien sequel slash tied to a Blade Runner 2 sequel. I don't care. I just want to see Harrison Ford as much as I possibly can until he passes on. And, but he's not going to, though. Harrison Ford's invincible. This is this is all for Prometheus, by the way, because... No. It's okay. No. no it's not even okay. Thing, uh, that film was terrible. Another thing that we have to get on to real quickly... Uh, there was a licensing was expo in Las Vegas, and a lot of things were seen at this expo. A lot of pictures, a lot of promotional things. Uh, we saw Terminator Genesis revealed their logo, and that recently, full T800, full T800 yep. with it. Um, it was. We don't know if that's going to be the same. It looks like the same design, but um, another thing that recently happened last night is that Colin Trevorrow for Jurassic World. Uh, did a little teaser uh, uh, of the shadow of the biggest baddie dinosaur that we're going to see in Jurassic the World genetically next summer. Yes, yeah. yeah, which we know is a something something Rex. We we posted on the page that we had a picture of it. I'm sure you saw it on other pages, but we're not against, uh, we're not for, I should say, posting spoilers about every single thing. So if we post something about a spoiler and you want to see it, message us and I will send you the link or the photo. But he posted it. Looks pretty mean and badass. Um, yeah. So that's shaped this one, to be this next one. This one. This one has all the spoilers. Yeah. That is pretty much what we have to talk about on the real rundown. Did you have anything else you want to talk about? No. Uh, that's 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 uh, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to the summer movie season continuing. We kind of entered a lull here in June with a lot of comedy. May was and stuff big. Like May that. was huge. May was a really big month. I'm looking forward, okay, I'm looking forward to resuming blockbuster season with Transformers. I am not, however, looking forward to Transformers because the film is probably going to be terrible. I'm going into it probably, I'm, I'm trying to be positive because I it's love not Mark to be Wahlberg. Biased, but Shia LaBeouf is not going to be around. I love Wahlberg. Wahlberg's Wahlberg, very charismatic. Wahlberg may make me slide through the film a little bit easier, Agreed. but it doesn't look as much as... The difference they want to make, uh, you can tell they wanted to go a different route slightly. It's not... It's not I can thing. tell they wanted to go in the exact same route and then it's Metal Robot Explosion Fest for the Explosion Fest. It looks the same as the other three films. It doesn't look any better and it's probably... I, 
I'm sorry. Just it, it, I've had enough of the Transformers franchise. It's I don't okay. care. And we I don't, do not you don't, care. And you don't need to hear us talk about it. I'm sure you've talked about it with all your friends at the bar or at the local. I'm sure uh, they all hate it too. And at least they yeah, should if you have good friends. You know, or you went and saw it and you loved it. It was great, Megan Fox. Yeah. Why isn't she in this one? Oh, wait. We can still get to see her in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles reboot, which is produced by Michael Bay, not directed by Michael Bay. But again, we are epic film guys. This is the real rundown slash mini review of 22 Jump Street. Real quick, we're going to do a swift call out to Michael Vasquez about his Godzilla review. We want him on this show. We challenge you, Michael Vasquez, to come on to this show and uh, do a debate with us. So, the next film that you we see... We need to have a talk about this Godzilla bash fest that he went on because apparently, I think he watched one of the really cheesy Godzilla sequels. I think he saw like, Son of Godzilla. God, Son of Godzilla. Godzilla's I think that's Revenge. the film that he watched. It's called Godzilla's Revenge. Eric, whatever. Whatever. I, 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 Son I, of Godzilla. He didn't watch Son the most Godzilla. recent Godzilla film, which was a I think really, he went really and saw film. that in a small, crappy person's house that was showing that because they were bored with their five-year-old the child instead of the, the, seeing The Garrett film Edwards was probably Godzilla. reeled halfway up, so you saw the top half of the frame, you know, down here, and the bottom half of it was at the top. I don't know. It was either know. that or he didn't ever watch the original Gojira. Um, but we got it. We love Mike. He's, he's a friend of ours, former he's co worker of mine. But we challenge still. you to do a debate with us on whatever summer blockbuster you want to do with us. So keep that in mind. Again, Epic Film Guys, Real Rundown, Justin. And Nick. And you can see us on Facebook.com slash Epic Film Guys. And you can check us out on YouTube, uh, YouTube.com slash Epic Film Guys NY. And NY. don't forget to follow us on Twitter at Epic Film Guys. And uh, again, Justin and Nick, you know, we're hopefully going to be at the Regal uh, for Transformers. We're working on some things. We're working on some things. And quick shout out to Diana Ellis and a few other people tonight. Allison. Julia Pygon, and we've got one other, Garland Hyatt. Uh, three people tonight that helped share our page to Thank get us to 300 Thank likes on you Facebook. For all we your do support. what we do for not only ourselves, because we're just enjoying we it, do. but we for do. you guys. So help share the page, like us, promote, whatever you can. We're on our way there. We're going to keep going, and uh, we love you. Look for us out and about. We're going to try to do more events around the city as the summer progresses, and hopefully we'll be able to get out there and you'll be able to see us in public. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys.